so hello everyone today we will be learning about react and what is react why should we use it so let's understand what is react react is, is a declarative efficient and flexible javascript library for building reusable ui components and what are ui components ui components are the parts of your application uh, for example a button a form uh, similarly the components which you use for building uh, user interfaces that are your UI components so it is an open source component based front-end library so anybody can use it uh, without any problem it is free of course and it is a front-end library so you can only use in the front-end side of a of an application it was created by Jordan walk who was a software engineer at Facebook and from there facebook maintains it and develops it facebook also uses react.js in its product like uh, whatsapp and instagram also in the facebook so facebook developed react.js in 2011 and from there till 2022 they have built their versions and maintains it so they officially launched uh, Facebook uh, Facebook officially launched react.js in 2013 uh, but it was already developed in 2011 so maybe for the testing they have spent two years so you got an idea of what is react.js right so why should we learn it why should we learn react.js when there are other things when you can build the application with HTML CSS and JavaScript why should we use react.js then uh, react.js uh, is a problem solver for in the, in our case for example understand one scenario that uh, you are you have built an application which has uh, one heading and paragraph and some ele some other elements for example buttons or forms so when you want to change your applications heading uh, color for example using javascript then you will be accessing the javascript uh, dom or you can say the browser's dom uh, document object model uh, now what is document object model dom is simply uh, the representation of our html elements in an object form by javascript or the browser so we manipulate that part to change take effect uh, take any changes where we want in our application through javascript so we use a DOM for changing the elements or whatever the change we want. We use DOM in normal JavaScript. So when you want to change headings, uh, background color or anything, then you will be manipulating with JavaScript the browser's DOM. And then when you change document object models one element, then all the elements are replaced or you can say uh, refreshed. So that's why. Uh, it wastes a uh, memory of the browser uh, so we don't want that that's why react.js comes into play and it uses virtual dom feature that is a very big uh, feature that it provides or very beneficial feature it provides virtual dom is simply a copy of uh, original dom or the document object model that first checks whether the change is made to the virtual dom and document object model then it compares both of them so for example if you change any heading in react.js then it will only change that part in the document object model which is like changed so in virtual dom which is changed and in the original dom which was not changed then it compares both the parts and changes only the part which is changed in virtual dom so it works like that so that's why it uh, saves our memory and works works very smoothly and builds our application very faster so that's why we use react.js also there are some other features of, of react.js but we'll be talking about them in the future videos so that was react.js and why should we learn it i think you have got an idea this is just one feature of react.js there are many features react.js has so we'll be learning it soon so let's go to the next slide which says virtual dom versus browser dom you can understand virtual dom and browser dom so when you are 
working with normal virtual DOM, sorry, so when you are working with virtual DOM or simply in ReactJS, then ReactJS compares it. So first it checks whether the state has changed or not, and then it checks the difference, and then it re-renders the part of the application which is changed. But in browser DOM, there are no any state change compute difference. It directly renders the element, so that's why it changes all the elements which are there in the DOM. So that weighs some of our memory, so that's why we use virtual ma virtual DOM of React. So that was one thing. So there are some other features also of React. Uh, you can get the idea from this uh, chart, which says it uses G JSX. What is JSX? JSX uh, is kind of uh, like HTML to build user interfaces or for example if you want to build buttons, forms, headings, these kind of things. So you normally use HTML. So uh, React just also has this feature called JSX which uses HTML uh, or you can say JavaScript XML. So that that's why we call it JSX. So it is somewhat similar to the HTML, but it has some differences in the attributes naming or in some other places. We'll be uh, learning it more deeper in the future videos. So the second feature it provides is components. Components are you can say the separate elements which are uh, reused in the application. For example, if you have created the navbar, so you'll not be copying pa copy pasting the code again and again in the other part of your pages. You'll just be creating a component and then you will be re reusing that component or the navbar component in your other part of your application. So th that's one feature of React components. The other one is one-way data binding, uh, which means when we want to send any additional data to a component, then we can also do that by using data binding. We'll be learning it in this uh, future videos. Uh, the other feature, virtual DOM, as we have already dis discussed it. So let's go to the next point, which is simplicity. It is very easy to learn React.js. Yes. Uh, if you compare other libraries like Angular and Vue.js, React.js yes, is the easiest one I think uh, to learn so for the beginners react.js is very good so you should definitely learn react.js when you are uh, choosing any front-end framework so you should definitely use react.js react.js is a library not a framework I'm again telling you uh, but Vue.js and the angular is a framework so react.js is simply a library but that has many features so we should learn it uh, after that you can jump to the angular or any other library if you want but that could be enough I think for, for today's development world the last feature is from performance so performance you can consider it like it provides many features so it definitely provides the performance to our application that's why we use react.js in many application it has a very good performance in compared to other normal or like in compared to other HTML CSS pages you will find better performance in the react.js application so these are some features of react.js so you have completed your lesson one congratulation and we'll be learning more about react.js in the future videos stay connected with us thank you for watching the video